is where he's getting a felon and we have him share a story. He's very articulate with the legal part and how we're also participating in debunking a lot of Martin County's press releases. Hello everybody, my name is Sean. Mexican, Lakota, white, I'm a member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe from South Dakota, and I'm a water <laughs> and, uh, It's true what Mario was saying. Uh, I am facing seven years in prison for shooting this music video. What they did is they said when I was flying my drone that when I was filming the crowd, I endangered them because it could have crashed on them. And they also said I tried to fly into a plane to crash the plane. Neither of them are true, but this is what they're saying. Um, so, we're doing the best we can to prepare for that court battle. Um, right now, there's a lot of things happening up there. There's the pipeline, we need the EIS, the full EIS to start now before training gets in. We need uh, to monitor Warren County and specifically uh, the public defender. I mean, not the public defender, the state's attorney, the prosecutor, because he's making a lot of motions to basically ruin water protectors' cases to deny them what's called Brady, Brady material, the discovery material, uh, is a lot of things that we need to watch. So the fight, the fight has gone from what it was to, now we still need our prayer, but it's gone into the legal battles, and the battles of the system. Um, but I hope to beat my case, um, and you know, I, I hope that uh, all the water protectors facing time can beat it. We've got Red Fawn, we've got uh, the, the guys who were involved with the Kyle Thompson incident, Brandon, um, Israel, and what was the other one, Michael? So I just want to ask you guys, keep all the water protectors in your mind and in your thoughts and in your prayers because they, we need as much help as we can get and, and use your voice too, you know, use your time. When you have time at home, check on these things and see what's happening with the cases up there. Maybe you guys might come up with an idea that someone hasn't thought of before or something that can help them. And that's the last thing I want to say is, if you look at what we're facing up there, it's a multi-billion dollar corporation. It's a governor's office. It's the FBI. It's the US Federal Marshals. It's Martin County. It's North Dakota Highway Patrol. It's all these things in private security firms. And it seems like an unbeatable force. Like There's no way we can beat Yet somehow, because we all came together, even people at home, and we were driving somewhere and we had a question, we just ask it on live stream and boom, there's answers. Boom, everyone at home's researching for us. The donations. Everyone played a part, even from home. And that's the only way we're able to stand up to these immovable, uh, very bad forces. And that's because we, the people, have power. So each one of you, Whatever you do, I don't know what you do, you're a mother, you're a father, you're a lawyer, you're an activist, whatever you do, do it the best you can and always keep in mind the people and keep in mind each other because when we're together, we're powerful and we can stop anything. So I love all you guys and um, that's about all I have to say.